Is this the world's smallest turtle? It's only the size of a gummy bear. In fact, it's a little bit smaller than the gummy bear. Now it's just a baby, and the world is filled with all different types of turtles and tortoises, from really big to really small, colorful and drab, but we've definitely never shown you one this small on our channel. This little nugget has been named Magnus, which means larger than life, because even though this turtle is itty bitty, it's gonna be packed with a bold personality and a strong bite. This is the Eastern Mud Turtle, part of the mud and musk turtle family. These turtles respectively only grow to be about four to five inches on average. Some get bigger, some stay a little bit smaller, but regardless of all that, these are the smallest turtles in the world when they first hatch. No bigger than a penny or a dime or a gummy bear, whatever you want to compare it to, this is real right here. And this little turtle hatched naturally in the ground where our adults live. The adults are so cryptic and small that we almost always miss their nests, but because they're native to South Jersey, they hatch in the ground with absolutely no problem at all. Still, even though they're native here, when they're this tiny, they're very vulnerable, not just to predators that may be in the sky like birds, but also to other turtles because mud and musk turtles will not hesitate to eat their young. So we brought little Magnus inside our nature room to get started in a little tank, and we're gonna show you how we have them set up. Because mud turtles have such a small adult size, they don't have the same care requirements or space requirements as something like a red-eared slider would. So for many, these are going to be your safer pet choice when it comes to aquatic turtles. Now, with Magnus being this small right now, all this turtle needs is something very simple so we can keep a close eye on it. If you keep it in something too large, the animal is simply gonna get lost in it and you're gonna have a hard time knowing if it's eating enough, yada yada. So what we're using, is a small glass tank. This is made by Reptizoo, and I like using these for starting off very small species like mud and musk turtles, but they also work great for baby snakes. So what I've done is I've just added some fresh water, a little bit of crushed coral on the bottom, and a couple rocks. This species does not require any UVB or extensive heating sources. It just needs to be in a decent temperature between 75 and 80 degrees, and the animal will thrive. So here we go. These little cubes are great to start these little turtles off in, and it's great for children because they get to experience a small animal like this in a safe container. So if you have something like a cat, it can't get to it because it's fully closed in. And kids can just watch these animals as they start the first few days, weeks, or months of their lives. But you don't have to use them. Regardless, whatever you do use to start off mud and musk turtles, it's important that you give them very shallow water. Even though they're primarily aquatic, they are not the best swimmers, and they actually prefer to walk along the bottom instead of having to really try to swim. So what you want to see is, whether it's a baby or an adult, you want to see these species be able to firmly plant both front and back legs on the bottom of the water and then easily stick their necks up to get air. You don't want to see them struggle. When we first put Magnus in this little enclosure, what he's doing is floating around and swimming a little bit, but he's not frantic because he knows he's safe, he can feel the bottom, and he can easily get air above him. If you see a frantic mud or musk turtle, you're not doing it right. So here's a nice little basic setup, wonderful for children to learn from, but I wanna show you guys where I actually found little Magnus, come on. So, this is the Eastern Mud Turtle Pen. And right over here, this is a favored nesting area, it gets a lot of sun, and there's also some decent cover, because when you're a small turtle, well, you can easily stay covered with this weed growth. I've got an egg that's actually poking up out of the ground right here that clearly hatched. And then I've also got a hole right here. So I don't know if it's from this egg or if Magnus is from this hole here and that there might actually be others in there. So we're gonna take a closer look at both, but this is pretty cool because right here is where I found Magnus. And you're looking at some of the footage of that very moment when I found him and picked him up. It was, it was pretty exciting. I'm very good at spotting baby turtles to begin with, but to find one that small, that's pretty nuts. 
These are adult eastern mud turtles, and they very well may be the parents of little Magnus. This is an adult egg-laying female right here, and this guy right here is actually pretty big for a male. But I wanted to show you guys a good uh, size spectrum, because, you know, no two turtles are the same, and there's always bigger examples of a species, and of course, very small examples. Even though most mud turtles are really small like these guys right here, they have some interesting ways to defend themselves. For one, they have a very strong piercing bite. They are also brown colored, which means they blend right in with the mud that they hide in. And they also have a plastral hinge similar to a box turtle. So look at these two. They're scared of me right now, so they are trying to seal up. Now they can't fully close like a box turtle can, but they can get pretty darn close. Amazing little turtles. So you've heard me talk about musk turtles several times in this video, so why not take a look at a couple species before we go. This right here is the razorback musk turtle, and this right here is the common musk turtle, also known as the stink pot. Why? Because all mud and musk turtles, not just the stink pot, have scent glands where they release a foul smelling liquid. And that's also one of their defense mechanisms. It's pretty awful smelling and you will primarily experience that if you pick up a wild one. These turtles do cross roadways, so you may find yourself coming across one of them. And don't put your nose too close because not only will they bite it, but they will smell to the high heavens. Musk and mud turtles are very similar in a lot of their habits where they are not the best swimmers, they are primarily aquatic, and they of course walk along the bottom instead of really swimming hard to get to things But we like to keep our musk turtles in a little bit different of a habitat a little less mud We like to put them in a habitat that has some running water where it's very crystal clear And there's more sediment on the bottom in the form of gravel or rock and they really thrive better that way Although if they are in mud, they will absolutely bury themselves like you just saw those mud turtles do so I hope you guys liked learning about Magnus and other mud and musk turtles. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out this video right here.